Hey guys, today we're talking about the best apps that you can download on your phone to make some money. First off, if you're new here, my name is Philip Watley and this is Life Without Boundaries. This is a channel where you can learn, learn different strategies to make money online, even strategies on how to build a business. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button down at the bottom and click the bell notification. We release videos five times a week. So the first app that we're gonna talk about to make some extra money on your phone is called Ebates. It's an awards app that awards you up to 40% cash back on items that you would normally buy. There are more than 3,000 stores, including Walmart, Amazon, Expedia, and you can get the app to notify you when there are new coupons available. If you choose a specific item that you want to purchase, Ebates will also tell you which stores are selling that item and how much cash back you'd receive from the store. Ebates is currently offering $10 for whenever you make your first purchase on the app. So this is a really great app just to kind of make money as you're shopping along. Uh, it kind of goes along with our second app. Now the second app that we're talking about is Ibotta. Ibotta, we talked about it before, but it basically gives you money for everyday purchases that you already buy. It's an app that you can take a picture of your receipt of things that it's asking for you to buy. And when you send it to them, it'll send you uh, a rebate or some kind of cash into your app. That way you can uh, trade it in for some cash. Uh, some retailers that work with this app are uh, Best Buy, Lowe's, uh, eBay, and there's lots, lots more. The third app I want to talk about is called Shopkick. Now, Shopkick is a lot like a, a game. It kind of gives you missions to complete. You can go out to different stores and you accomplish challenges that might require you to walk to a store and scan products. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You earn points by taking pictures of these things, like uh, the listings or the receipts, and then you just cash in those points for gift cards like Starbucks, Walmart, Target, Amazon, and many other participating vendors. This one has lots of lots of big name vendors, so this is a really good one if you shop at Walmart a lot or you want some some coffee. Uh, Shopkick is a good one to earn you some points to kind of work towards those rewards as well. Which brings us to our fourth app. It's called Field Agent. This is very similar to Shopkick. It gives you missions to complete, small jobs around the area. It brings up a map and it shows you all the jobs that you can do. Uh, each job usually pays between $2 to $12 depending on the job. And it's also a first come, first serve basis. So if you drive to a place, and someone else completes the mission before you do, you might lose out on that. So that's a downside to this app. But again, the payout is tends to be a lot better than uh, most of the other apps. Uh, if you can get two $12 uh, missions completed in an hour, you're already making $24 an hour. That, that, that's a lot of money. So kind of search through that app and try and find uh, some of those high ticket missions and you could be making some good cash. Now number five is really fun. It's not really a money making app per se, but you can make money with it. It's not specifically designed to make money. It's actually specifically designed to lose weight, to motivate somebody to lose weight. And the, that app is called Diet Bet. And what you do is, is you log in and you set a bet for yourself that other people will join in too. And it's sort of like a game. And you put in some money, kind of participate in this challenge like lose 4% of your body weight in four weeks. Or you can do bigger challenges like lose 10% of your weight in six months. And for the ones that actually complete that challenge, you actually get the pot of money that people put in for that bet. So if if five people put in five dollars to lose you know weight in four weeks and you're the only one that does it, you get $25. You get all you get your money back plus 20 extra dollars. So this could be really, really fun. Uh, also, it could be a good motivator to lose weight. And it's also advertised that 96% of their players actually lose weight and the winners take home an average of $58. So sometimes these pots can get really big and the more people that play, uh, they, obviously you can split the pot with the winners, but if there's a lot of people playing uh, one game at one time, like you, can, you can make some good money if you're determined enough and dedicated enough to actually lose the weight and do the challenge that it asks you to do. So I thought that was a really fun one that you can add to the list, uh, which kind of brings up the next one as well. 
And the next one we're gonna talk about is called Step Bet. Now the last one was Diet Bet, this is Step Bet. If you're not really big on losing a lot of weight, Step Bet might be a better thing to do because it's basically placing bets on how many steps you take for the day instead of actually how many pounds you lose for the week or the month or whatever. So you place a bet like you would on Diet Bet and you set up a goal for yourself like I'm gonna walk 10,000 steps a day and every time you reach that goal you split the pot with other people in the game that may have lost or may have completed that and so this is a really fun uh, two apps to just kind of get you moving but also kind of make some money as at, at the same time um, if you run a lot or you work out like this is a really good app for you to do and or if you're a college student and you're walking every day from class to class and you, you building up a lot of steps that could be something that you could uh, achieve every day and that you could actually make some money with so that works too now there's one more app on this list that um, kind of is in the same line as uh, a step bet step coin is next on the list and it's probably the most popular fitness app in the world uh, essentially you get um, a digital currency, uh, the sweat coin, for every thousand steps you you take. So every thousand steps you take, I think it's like one step coin, um, and then you can trade in those sweat coins for prizes like a free vacation or gift cards or things like that. And so if you find yourself like walking a lot or running a lot and like racking up, you know, ten, twenty thousand steps a day. This might be something that you'd want to consider because you can rack up those sweat coins very quickly and you can trade them in for prizes and things. So it's that's really cool. And it, like I said, it's the number one fitness and health app on the iPhone. It's it's worth a shot. And uh, one downside is that it does drain your battery because it's got to run in the background constantly for every step you take. But uh, yeah, you can try it out if you don't have battery issues and if you want to make a little extra money. Now let's talk about Google Opinion Rewards. Google Opinion Rewards is probably the most popular and um, the least scammy survey app out there because it's run by Google. And what Google will do is it will uh, give you some quick surveys to, uh, to answer to earn Google, Google Play credits. And once you're installed, you'll be prompted to answer basic questions about yourself, which is standard. And then Google will send you a survey about once a week which will allow you to earn up, up to a dollar in play credit. So the, the payout isn't that great, but it's quick, and it's easy, and it doesn't take much time at all to do. And after two or three weeks or so, you've got a few dollars that you can spend on songs or things like that in uh, the Google Play. So yeah, it, it, it helps out, it adds up, and it's pretty useful as well. Now the next one's very similar to Google Opinions. This one's also a highly rated survey uh, app, but it's called iPoll. Now, as the name might imply, iPoll lets you earn gift cards and airline credits by simply sharing your opinion. You'll be asked to provide basic information about yourself, and then it's going to determine which surveys are best for you and which reviews are best for you. Uh, once you have a new thing, a survey or something available, it'll let you know. And it, the surveys kind of range from different topics including product reviews, uh, shopping experience inside different stores, uh, whether you, you can recognize certain brands or not, it could be pretty profitable to you. Now this next iPhone app for the creative people, this app is called Fope. Now Fope is basically a way to turn your photos into money. The app will let you upload your photo collections and sell it to well-known brands. So if you're taking a picture and someone's looking for a specific picture to advertise for something, people would will buy that picture from you. Now with this app, you can upload as many photos as you want, and you will receive about 50% of the commission every time you sell a photo. So Fope will take half of what you sell it for, and you get the other half. So if you sell a photo for $20 to a company that wants to use it for uh, marketing or advertising, then you would get $10 for that uh, that picture. Now, the last one on the list is called SlideJoy. It's basically uh, allowing companies to run ads on your um, login screen, on your on your lock screen of your phone. Now, that might sound annoying, uh, but every time you unlock your phone, an ad will pop up, and you can either swipe left 
or write to see different ads and to check out different headlines. Um, it's not just ads, sometimes it's news and advertisements and you just swipe to go to your home screen or you can swipe for a different way for more information on that product. Uh, you don't have to slide towards the product to make money. Just you having the product on, like the app downloaded on your phone will give you money. So every time you unlock your phone, it gives you a certain amount of points and you can cash that in for some things. So it's basically giving companies a right to advertise on your lock screen. So yeah, it, it, it could be a little annoying, but it's just a, an extra second just to swipe one more time to get to your home screen and then you, you can collect some money for that. So basically you're just collecting money every time you swipe. So it's pretty it, it's pretty useful. It's, it has its uses and you can rack up some money um, fairly quickly if you're one that unlocks your phone a lot. Um, they say that the average person unlocks their screen 80 something times a day. So maybe you can uh, capitalize on that and make a little extra money. If you want to learn some different ways to make money online, I have a playlist compiled of all the videos that I made to make money online and you can click that right there on the side and if you want to learn more about it just keep coming back to this channel and make sure to subscribe because i'll be releasing a new video tomorrow i'll see you guys